is where I live. I live in Kenya, at the south parts of the Nairobi National Park. Those are my dad's cows at the back, and behind the cows, that's the Nairobi National Park. Nairobi National Park is not fenced in the south where I live, which means wild animals like zebras migrate out of the park freely. So predators like lions follow them, and this is what they do. They kill our livestock. This one of the cows which was killed at night, and I just woke up in the, in the morning and I found it dead, and I felt so bad because it was the only bull we had. My community, the Maasai, we believe that we came from heaven with our, all our animals and all the land for hurting them, and that's why we value them so much. So I grew up hating lions so much. The Morans are the warriors who protect our community and the livestock, and they are so upset about this problem. So, they killed the lions. It's one of the six lions which were killed in Nairobi. And I think this is why the Nairobi National Park lions are few. So, a boy from six to nine years old in my community is responsible for his dad cows. And that's the same, same thing which happened to me. So, I had to find a way of solving this problem. And the first idea I got was to use fire, because I thought lions were scared of fire. But I came to realize that that didn't really help, because it was even helping the lions to see, to see through the caution. So I didn't give up. I continued. And the second idea I got was to use a scarecrow. I was trying to trick the lions that I was standing near the caution. But lions are very clever. They will come the first day, and they see the scarecrow, and they go back. But the second day, they'll come and they say, this thing is not moving here, it's always here. <laughs> so <laughs> it jumps in and kills the animals. So one night, I was walking around the cow shed with a torch. And that day, the lions didn't come. And I discovered that lions were afraid of a moving light. So I had an idea. Since I was a small boy, I used to work in my room for the whole day. And I even took apart my mom's new radio. And that day, she almost killed me, but... <laughs> <laughs> but I learned a lot about electronics. <laughs> <laughs> so I got an old car battery, an indicator box, the small device found in the motorcycle, and it helps motorists when they want to turn right or left, it blinks. And I got a switch, where I can switch on the lights, on and off, and that's a small touch from a broken flashlight. So I set up everything. As you can see, the solar panel charges the battery, and the battery supplies the power to the small indicator box. I call it a transformer. And the indicator box makes the lights to flash. And as you can see, the bulbs face outside, because that's where the lines come from. And that's how it looks to lions when they come at night. The lights flash and trick lions that I was walking around the cow shed, but I was sleeping in my bed. <laughs> Thanks. So I set it up in my home two years ago, and since then, we have never experienced any problem with the lions. And my neighboring homes, heard about this idea. One of them was this grandmother. She had a lot of uh, animals being killed by lions. And she asked me if I can put the lights for her. And I said, yes. So I put the lights. You can see at the back, those are the lion lights. Since now, I've set up seven bombers around my community, and they're really working. And my idea is also being used now in all over Kenya for scaring other predators like hyenas, leopards. And also, it's also being used to scare elephants away from people's farms. Because of this invention, I was lucky to get a scholarship in one of the best schools in Kenya, Brookhouse International School. 
and I'm really excited about this. My new school now is coming in and helping by fundraising and creating an awareness. I even took back my friends to my community and we're installing the lights to the homes which don't have and I'm teaching them how to put them. So one year ago, I was just a boy in the Savannah grassland, hiding my father's cows. And I used to see planes flying over. And I told myself that one day I'll be there inside. So and here I am today. Uh, I got a, a chance to come by plane for my first time for TED. So my big dream is to become an aircraft engineer and pilot when I grow up. I used to eat lions, but now because my invention is saving my father's cows and the lions, we are able to stay with the lions without any conflict. Surely, it means my language. Thank you very much. <laughs> you, you have no idea how, how exciting it is to hear a story like yours. So, you've got this scholarship. Yep. You're all working on other electrical inventions. What's yeah. the next one on your list? Um, my next invention is I want to make an electric fence. Electric fence. But I know electric fences are already invented, but I want to make mine. <laughs> Did, <didn't, laughs> you already tried it once, right? And you <laughs> I've tried it before, but um, I, I stopped because uh, it gave me a shock. <laughs> <laughs> In the trenches. Richard Terreri, you are something else. We're going to cheer you on every step of the way, my friend. Thanks. Thank you so much. Uh